if I want to animate one of the object and rest of them together let's try this one I will animate this I'll just move it a little bit up. It's not on the grid. So maybe I will just create a one plane over here to understand the grid position. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll select these three again. Now we have animation over here. Export selection. This time I don't have skeleton but I have an animation so I am clicking on animation data and the number of frames are 20 only so frame range I am changing into 20 and export selection so I am replacing this group now so come back to Unreal I am just reloading this so now how we can see this animation now the um, objects are here to see the animation select the USD you can see a level sequencer under the inside details panel so double click this one and play now you can see this animation and the main important thing inside USD is inside the content folder there is nothing you won't see anything inside the project folder everything is inside your server file or your wherever the project you created all the files will be over there so inside the project the project will be very light so whenever you open the project it won't take time it will be opened very immediately that is the usage and multiple people maybe for suppose if one person is working on this character one person is working on the other character other person is working on environment in that case each one can update on each one now we'll see how we can update multiple objects and then get it together into one time now what is the problem is now i will export each one as separately export each one export selection maybe there is no animation here so I'm just turning it off export selection or maybe object one I'll just name keeping simple names and this one as export selection object two and for the third one export selection now here I have animation data so I'm just keeping this one on object 3 so each each artist is working on each object so I want to import all together in Unreal so in that case how we can do so the problem is now you can see here whenever I open object 1 don't save layers I can get the object 1 that is fine but if I want to add the object 2 okay so there is a possibility like inside the stage add reference okay and then go to your object 2 but it doesn't show up anyway okay we can see some of these things but nothing is shown so to do to fix this one the best th setup is we need to set up inside Maya first to set up that just take a new scene and first go to create universal scene description stage with new layer over here click on right click on it USD layer editor here 
we can import layer path and usd1 object1 load layers now you can see a object1 over here with everything with texture and everything same way I am adding other objects also now if you play you will see animation inside everything now how we can export this entire thing as a group so if you s make it as a single group that is fine but if you want to tweak everybody as separate separately and then work on it this is the best way so now if I export all okay or stage everything it doesn't work let me show you again I am just renaming this as a group 1 save all edits okay let's see let's try with this style now close it I'm removing don't save and I will import open is a group one it doesn't show anything I was wondering why it is so the process is not uh, we should not export from here this is another way is we need to click over here to export so click over here which will ask you to save the path so over here just go to the usd place maybe i'll just renaming this one here when you export it is something like 740 kb i am just renaming this as group 2 save save stage this is saving not usd actually stage stage means this is the main stage okay okay now we'll just go over here and see how much is a group to stage is 655 kb let's see now we will import this group close open now i'm importing group 2 now we can see all three objects properly and inside the sequence editor you can see animation also so final one we will will check with skeleton animation how it will work with the skeleton animation so here